Hi there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. Hope you're doing really good today. I'm gonna pull from the Surrealist Tarot. We'll get a Celtic cross for you and then we'll clarify as needed. All right, spirit guides, angels, give us messages for the sign of Capricorn. Okay, these are general messages, so it can go in any area. Um, it, it can fit into any area. Of course, it's Capricorn, rising sun, and moon. All right. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands in the reverse telling you that there is another opportunity. There's a big opportunity um, and more pathways open than what you previously thought. Wow, you've got two aces and busy. Okay, two are accidentally coming out, so I'm gonna take that as a sign. Wow, you have another um, ace of swords there too. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, and two. I keep on grabbing two, two from this. The High Priestess in reverse with the Seven of Cups is the outcome. So there's more possibilities, and all of this involves a lot of opportunities. You are creating these opportunities for yourself already with that Magician energy. That's in the hopes and fears. Um, you start off in the past with um, Death Card in reverse, which is um, an ongoing metamorphosis or like some kind of uh, transition so let's find out more about the death card in reverse all right death card in reverse Okay, I have the Ace of Swords. Now you got it twice. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Lots of information. Um, lots of information regarding a situation that was something uh, somewhat stormy. It could have been a time that, um, I don't know, something from your past made you upset. Either a person or an opportunity there from the past. But there's something with the Ace of Cups as the challenge in the reverse it means also this is something brought up again nice you've got the strength energy down here with the two of pentacles so it's being extremely busy and working a lot tell us more about the ace of wands in reverse okay the four of swords so fair enough this is about your own rest and recovery so that you can be you know this um exuberant person that wants to take um, advantage of this opportunity. So, yeah, let's find out more about the changes um, at the heart of the matter or the back and forth, the ebb and flow. Because ultimately the Four of Swords is healing, right? Right, and this is that continual transformation here um, like that because it stems from having one disappointment. So having a disappointment um, and having a healing that's really needed is important, even if something is done in a little bit of a non-traditional way. Tell me about the King of Cups in reverse, because not only is this like change transformation, but it's trying to keep yourself balanced. Oh, look, another seven of cups. So seven, seven, being brave, being bold, putting yourself out there really and enjoying all these options that are coming to you. Coming from a time that didn't look so helpful with the page of cups in the reverse, and now you have it as the challenge. So the six of swords is kind of suggesting that with this new, armed with this new information, you will go quite a distance Tell me about the Six of Swords. 
the sun in reverse it's something that's just not been revealed to you or isn't exactly clear i think it's more of like that that something that like you do have a lot of options however not the issue might be more of not being able to see all of your options clearly or know exactly what they are so if this is about your healing i would say getting good sleep rest um and all that stuff is important here all right so five of wands in the reverse Five of Wands in the reverse with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So more lines of communication could be opened and it would help serve a purpose well. I love that you have this because this is what you're thinking about essentially. It's your hopes and fears um, spot, right? And that is the Magician Energy, which is allowing you to speed things up and move forward and stop playing... Um, stop playing games right to stop playing games or having people around you stop that because why there's something about not being much competition um i don't remember if this got turned while we were probably shuffling it so the moon in reverse i'm gonna put it back but it, it would normally mean um really trusting your own intuition and knowing that there's hidden blessings Oh, there you go. The Ten of Cups is your ultimate happiness and everybody else's happiness. That is probably what you're manifesting. And the need to really trust in yourself, not just from that moon in reverse, but from the high priestess in reverse up there with the Seven of Cups. So it, it's something about your gut instinct and what do you believe? What do you trust? Whoa, dang. <sighs> Got three on the floor, three on the floor, Empress Energy, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. So this is about 1010, ultimate happiness, many choices, and definitely focusing more on the prosperity of yourself and everyone else that's around. It's not about staying in the shadows. It's about being brave and bold um, with that Queen of Wands in the almost the reverse it's in a challenging situation but it just requires you to trust your intuition and your spiritual gifts and the empress energy means you can create whatever it is that you put your mind to okay so what else do we have with the empress what else do we have Twelve, I'm a visionary. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary. And I have 18. You are both open-minded and open-hearted. It is your ambition to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and the highest good of them all and there's your 10 10 patience divine timing it says i am patient and then that fell on the floor 77 i am brave it was zero 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 on the bottom of the deck i oh, am creator am creator am a creator i am a creator so it says you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve you have the ability to create something new and incredible here in your lifetime on earth and then i'm gonna pull from this deck i like this deck the sacred rebels oracle well you're gonna pull from it and just get a little bit more for your next 48 hours we might end on this note all right it is about being brave so Maybe that's why this, this card deck is one of the good ones to choose for this. I have 22. She feels, she knows. She feels, she knows. 
I have 32 faith in the process. Faith in the process. I have 25 release the dark wound and let love live. Eighteen spirals of manifestation. Spirals of manifestation. Anything else? Anything else for our signs of Capricorn? Thirty-one. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. And then 29, seeing the, the true you, seeing the true you. Okay, and then we will close out with the Southern Oracle here from Etsy's, what I where I purchased it from. I have 31, were you raised in a barn? Look, there's 31. Were you raised in a barn? Poor manners, lack of tact, discourtesy, impoliteness, social grace required. Social grace required. Uh-oh, did I put that other one back? Shoot, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my last reading of the day. I'm tired, sorry. There it is. There, there it is. 33, pot calling the kettle black. Hypocrisy, projection, similarity, blame, introspection needed. I also have 12, whatever floats your boat. Fulfillment, enthusiasm, follow your bliss and money comes. Passion project and do you. Also, 20, if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. Treasured objective, purpose, determination, smooth sailing, and assistance. And then on the bottom, how nice. Honey child, number two, abundance, fertility, belief, succor, growth, warmth, beginnings, and in your prime. That's what I've got for you. So, sending you love and light. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, Capricorns. Bye-bye.